you guys know there was this very important uh, summit in uh, Samarkand, and you had the Russian president, Vladimir Putin. He met with the Chinese president, uh, Xi Jinping. And guess what else happened? Iran now on its way to join the Shanghai Cooperation Organization, SCO for short. Iran has signed a memorandum of obligations to become a permanent member of the Shanghai, just we're going to say SCO, Central Asian Security Body. Quote, by signing the document for full membership of the SCO, Iran has entered a new stage of various economic, commercial, transit, and energy cooperation. So, this statement came as leaders from China, India, Kazakhstan, Kyrgyzstan, Pakistan, Russia, Tajikistan, and Uzbekistan headed to the latter city of Samarkand for a summit of the eight-member SCO, which is a security group formed by Beijing and Moscow as a counterweight to United States influence. Afghanistan, Belarus, Iran, and Mongolia are observer countries, while the organization has six quote-unquote dialogue partners, Armenia, Azerbaijan, Cambodia, Nepal, Sri Lanka, and Turkey. You see how the, the vast majority of these countries are global south, right? What you would call a third world in the past. We, we say global south now, right? So this is what is very important. It's, uh, this is all from Al Jazeera. They say, last year, the rapidly expanding SEO, key word, right? Key phrase, rapidly expanding, approved Iran's application for accession while the government in Tehran called on members to help it form a mechanism to avert sanctions to avert sanctions imposed by the west over its disputed nuclear program there are no sanctions on iran because of its nuclear program the, the whole point of the nuclear deal is to get rid of those get rid of them there are sanctions on iran because donald trump is you know or was a lackey for the israelis they just they just used him and biden is no better so he just keeps the same policies in place very simple so quote the relationship between countries that are sanctioned by the u.s such as iran russia or other countries can overcome many problems and issues and make them stronger this is ibrahim raisi the new iranian president um who told uh, vladimir putin during this uh, uh, summit right Quote, the Americans think whichever country they impose sanctions on, it will be stopped. Their perception is a wrong one. For his part, Putin said relations were quote-unquote developing positively between Russia and Iran and gave his full support to the latter's application to become an SEO member. See what it says here? Reporting from the Silk Road Oasis of Samarkand. Al Jazeera's Rasul Sardar said Iran's full membership is expected to become effective next year in april 2023 um the seo which is the world's largest regional organization consisting of 40 percent 40 percent of the world's population and 30 percent of um its gdp wants to further expand belarus is also officially going to sign the documents that its membership will be initiated uh, Qatar and Saudi Arabia are also expected to become new dialogue partners. So this is from Al Jazeera's uh, reporter. Now they also continue um, in the article. Uh, yeah, they go on to say in the article that Iran's economy has been hard, hit hard since 2018. Again, we 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 went over this, right? So why do they mention this at the end? I think it's very important because you know Iran's president himself, who they quoted, is like just straight up saying it. Uh, we're doing this to deviate from the system uh, plagued by sanctions, the system that America, the West, are able to manipulate uh, to their liking with sanctions, right? Because when the Americans have the petrodollar at their disposal, and it's not just backed uh, by, you know, oil sales, it's, it's the world's de facto global reserve currency, right? So most um, uh, central banks use dollars uh, because they think it has um, not just value right now, but long-term value and stability. And uh, the United States, you know, obviously there, there are many pros to that, but at the same time, the United States, because of this monopoly, is able to weaponize dollars against other countries, right? And because of just 
you know, the fact that right now it's uh, what you would call a hyperpower after the Cold War. It, it has the means to do that. Um, a lot of countries are sick of it. They are so, so, so sick of it. And it's, it's very, not just obvious, but imperative that Russia and China uh, participate and drive um, these, uh, you know, organizations to success. Because without them, I don't think it, 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 will, be, it will be viable. It will be very difficult to get these things off the ground. But when you know that China's economy is growing so rapidly um, and, you know, they're, they're set to overtake the United States in, I mean, we've been saying that for, um, for a while now, but nevertheless, it will happen eventually. It's great when you, <laughs> you know, you just spend your money on infrastructure instead of bombing people. But anyway, um, China is set to overtake the United States. Um, and I'm not saying that, you know, it has... Uh, the same attributes in terms of soft power and hard power as the U.S. You know, they each have their pros and cons, but the rate at which it's growing, its size, I mean, it's just inevitable that you're, you're uh, seeing in real time not just Iran, not just Syria, you know, and, 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 I, and I say that because they're smaller countries, but even the countries with all the resources, um, uh, you know, that Europe depends on, meaning Russia and Iran has this, uh, the second largest gas reserves after that. They're just turning away from the West. They're looking eastward. If I were in the West, I, you know, um, as a politician, I'd be worried. I don't think it's speculation at, at, at all. It's really every other week you see something formidable happening, right? I mean, it's, it hasn't even been two weeks that I told you China is now paying Russia uh, for gas in rubles, not dollars, right? And now Iran is joining the, S, uh, the SCO. You know, April is, is right around the corner. And it, it, it's not only that. There were other things that we talked about with, um, you know, basically Iran helping Venezuela out uh, because Venezuela was hit with sanctions. And then Iran and Venezuela trying to get a piece of this uh, payment system because uh, Visa and MasterCard pulled out of Russia, right? So if you're in Russia, you have a Visa card, you can still use it inside Russia, but you can't use it for anything outside Russia. Um, obviously, that's not practical, right? So Mir, which is uh, Mir, meaning M-I-R, Mir is the Russian payment system. It's, it's something that they developed, I think, after uh, 2014. And it's, you know, mostly... Uh, obviously, it doesn't have the same, uh, you know, a pull or weight as Visa and MasterCard, but, you know, it started just as a domestic thing. Now, Iran wants in on it. Venezuela wants in on it. Um, you know, China wants uh, to link union pay with it. These countries are not jokes. They're the future. You understand? Um, and I think the first, first telltale sign was, like, the refusal to put sanctions. You know why... Because, well, it's twofold. Number one, they, they, they don't do this, like, um, uh, you know, performative nonsense. Like, oh, we are democracies and we have to take a stand and, uh, you know, we like those dictators, but right now we don't need you and we don't like you and blah, blah, blah. It, it, forget this. You know, countries, uh, the, the, the BRICS, just as, just as an example, they, they're not interested in this. They're thinking, what, how can we... Uh, grow our economy? How can we build more infrastructure? And again, obviously, you know, um, the Indian foreign minister comes to mind. I showed you how he spoke to Liz Truss. He was basically like, you're going to come lecture me about buying, in, uh, about buying Russian oil? You guys, in, you know, Europe buys more Russian oil in one afternoon than we buy in a month. Uh, we got a good deal. We're taking it. That's it. End of story. So they're, they're smart, you know? Look, at, look how the euro is doing. Look how the pound is doing. Would you really trust people like that for long-term business? I wouldn't. Russia had roughly half of its central bank assets stolen. They say frozen. They ain't giving that shit back, right? Roughly 300 billion. Who the fuck would ever trust a Western bank after that? No wonder the Russians said, no, 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 no. You pay us now in rubles 
And not just that, you pay us in a Russian bank. We're not letting you freeze our fucking money again, like you literally just did last week. I'm speaking as if we're in March, right? The Russians were like, yeah, you are out of your fucking minds. No, no, no. We're not going to charge you extra, but that money is going to a Gazprom bank, a state-owned bank, a Russian bank. Because when we put our money in your banks, you literally fucking steal our money. And then you want us to give you gas for free. I mean, again, I'm not saying the Russians are perfect or, uh, you know, that they are faultless and they are angels. But there, there is a certain arrogance uh, that the, you know, that, that emanates from the British I would know. <laughs> you know, you got to learn your own history. And, 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 and a Western European arrogance. No wonder, no wonder everybody's like fucking off and, you know, ma- they're making their own organizations and their own initiatives and just leaving the West behind. This is not just something temporary. This is going to have long, long lasting effects because uh, this is uh, state piracy. It's piracy, you know? You might think of piracy like, oh, it's Jack Sparrow jumping off a ship and stealing, you know, a barrel of rum or some shit. No, 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 <laughs> This is piracy. You know, when you steal $300 billion, that's... Ast- yeah, I mean, this is astronomical. People have had enough, you know? That's why you see this. <laughs>